Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have a haul of what I've purchased in the past month. If you are new here, my name is Natalie. I post videos all about makeup and beauty. If you like what you see here today, I hope you will consider subscribing before you leave, but why don't we get started? So like I say, today's video is another haul video. I have been trying to do these monthly haul videos again to kind of hold myself accountable because I am supposed to be on a low buy year when it comes to makeup and beauty purchases. Doing these videos each month is going to keep me in check because I have to lay out everything I've purchased in that past month in front of me. So today I am quite happy with what I see in front of me. We don't have too many products at all. So much so that I've actually got some clothing items to show you today because there wasn't much purchases made on the makeup and beauty side. That always seems to be the case with me. I either spend my money on makeup and skincare or I spend it on clothes. I will show you those at the end of the video in case that doesn't interest you. So my first purchase was from Colourpop because they did have a recent clearance sale on their website where they had a lot of items 80% off and it was the final chance to purchase them. So I did have a look through that sale just in case there was something that I was desperately scared of missing out on. And I was very happy that I did manage to stay strong. Yes, there were items in that sale that I did want, but there was nothing that I actually needed. There were quite a few eyeshadow palettes that were heavily discounted and I was very, very tempted. But they're ones that I hadn't purchased first time around. I knew I didn't desperately need them in my collection. I think one of the ones that I nearly did purchase was the Off Melrose one. But by the time I'd thought about that one, I think that one went out of stock. So what I did actually make was a purchase from Soul Body, which is the sister line of Colourpop. I don't think I've specifically purchased anything from this line before. I think I've had one of their body oils in the mystery box that I got from Colourpop, but I don't think I've ever specifically bought anything from Soul Body. But with these products that I've purchased, I just couldn't pass off the opportunity because they were an absolute bargain. So I did actually pick up two gift sets. These are the body polish and cream sets. The first one here is the sparkling mimosa and then this one is the vanilla dream. I have been really getting into body scrubs as of late. There is one that I'm currently using which I got from Give Me Cosmetics which is a peach scented body scrub and I have been really enjoying that but I'm finding that I am going through it quite quickly so I did want to try a couple of others to see which one I liked. I did really love the one from Sol de Janeiro, which was the Bod Buff one. It was the one that came in the squeezy tube as opposed to the one in the tub. And I absolutely love that one. But I do believe that has been discontinued because they do now have the one in the tub. So I'm kind of on the lookout for one to replace that. Whilst I do really like the one from Give Me Cosmetics, that one is more of a sugar scrub. Whereas the Sol de Janeiro was more of a body exfoliating scrub, if, if that makes sense as the difference of them. Whereas these ones say they are body polishers, so I think that is again going to be a slightly different formula. So I'm kind of wanting to see what type of formula is my preference. These sets were heavily discounted. I think each one of these was only $6, so I paid $12 for the two. And that was an absolute bargain because it does contain two full-size products and each of the products is normally $15 each. So these sets do have a $30 value, but I think normal full price, they were $24. So they were a quarter of the price at $6 and I thought I would give it a go. I couldn't decide on which scent I wanted. And because I was going to the effort of paying shipping, I thought I might as well just get the two for the $12 rather than one for the six. Let me just show you the actual contents of each of these boxes. Packaging on these boxes is really nice and I think they would make a really nice gift with the pink and the kind of rose gold and the butterflies and things. So these are the two items in the set. Obviously the other set is exactly the same but just different colouring but I will still show you that one. And as you can see they are decent sized products. This one is 78 grams and this one is 85 grams. This one is the body cream which is a really thick consistency and it does smell so nice and really nice and summery as well and I've just got that absolutely everywhere. It describes the scent as being a pineapple slice and fresh mimosa aroma with a soft note of island coconut and tropical berries and I would say that kind of hits the nail on the head with that. It does literally smell like holiday. So I think that is going to be really nice on the skin. The body moisturiser that I'm using at the moment is just a coconut one. So I think this will be nice and a bit more kind of fruity for the summer. Then this is the body polish. To be honest, it does look very similar to the one I'm currently using, like more of a sugar scrub type thing. But this does have the exact same really nice scent. I feel like the scent on the body polish is slightly stronger than the moisturiser. But I don't mind that too much because this I'm kind of washing off in the shower, whereas this is sitting on my skin, so I don't want it too heavily scented. 
and then this one again we have the exact same detailing on the box but this time the box is yellow but again with the rose gold and the butterflies and this is how these two come so they're obviously going to be the exact same consistencies i would think this one seems slightly more gelatinous than the other one and this one does have a really nice vanilla scent to it that's slightly perfumey i'll see what it said about the scents of that one again the scrub now this one is a bit different actually i feel like the moisturizer has the stronger scent than the body scrub so i'll obviously have to see what it's like once i apply them to my skin so this one describes the scent as warm vanilla bean and cacao blossom with notes of soft amber and cashmere musk so i think it might be the amber that i can smell that's the kind of fragrance to it because i do have a shower gel that i really love that has amber scent in it and it's really nice so yeah excited to use all of these did i need four body products probably not but they were such a bargain i couldn't turn them down and it was my way of not buying makeup and they are products i will definitely use that was all that i actually purchased from colourpop so yeah really impressed with myself for that because when i place an order from colourpop i'm always adding at least an eyeshadow palette or a lipstick to the order so this is the first time in a long time i've not ordered one of those products from colourpop then I made a purchase from Next because they have very recently started stocking Bath and Body Works products. I did actually find a UK based website that did sell some Bath and Body Works stuff and I have purchased some candles from them in the past but now it's great that Next have them. The price point compared to that other website I was using I think they are pretty much the same. It's kind of what the American price is but in pounds so like their candles for example are around $24-25 they are 24 25 pounds from next time i was ordering other things from there anyway so it'll kind of save on shipping costs but i have always been wanting to try some of their hand soaps so i didn't actually order any candles because i do have a couple on the go still that i haven't burned through yet i've not found the time to kind of sit down and burn a candle and with a newborn baby i don't want a naked flame around anywhere at the moment so i do still have some candles to go through so i thought i would just get some hand soaps they did actually have a deal on the website at the time the hand soaps are either £7.50 or £8.50 each normally but they had a deal where it was two for £10 so it was the perfect opportunity to pick a couple up. I did nearly purchase four but I thought I'd just get two for the time being. So these are the two that I got. This one is Cozy Vanilla Almonds. This one is from the Aromatherapy range and is Chamomile and Bergamot and these are both foaming soaps. I did pick up a foaming soap from Aldi over the Christmas period, which I really enjoyed and my daughter quite liked the fun of a foaming soap as well. So when I seen that these were foaming soap as opposed to normal hand soaps, I thought that'd be a bit more fun. And they had quite a few scents available on the website. I think there's about 10 different scents all in all, and it was quite hard to decide what to go for. I played it safe with vanilla almond and having smelled this one, I didn't go wrong. It does smell really nice. It's quite a sweet scent, but not too sweet and sickly. The scent of it does actually slightly remind me of the alcoholic drink Amaretto. It does have that almond kind of scent to it with the sweetness. So I'm really excited to use this one. And I think this one is going to go in the bathroom. And then I think I'm going to put this one in the kitchen. This one has a very clean scent to it. And to me, it's almost kind of soothing. And that is because the pillow spray that I use has chamomile in it. So I can kind of smell those aspects in it. But this is one that my husband actually likes because normally when I pick fancy soaps as it were he doesn't tend to like the scent of them but he does actually quite like this one so i think this one is going to go in the kitchen it does say that they both have vitamins and essential oils in them with aloe vera and shea extract so they should be nice and moisturizing as well so excited to break into these once we've used the current boring generic aldi soaps that we currently have in the kitchen and the bathroom and the other thing that i purchased from next was a sample of room sprays so this is the fragrance discovery set of mini room sprays I thought this was such a really good idea because it is just kind of like perfume samples of different room scents. I also love the packaging of this with the sort of geometric metallic designs. I think this was about six or seven pounds, which isn't too bad because it's a good way to try all these different room sprays. The only issue I had is on the website, I couldn't actually find any full size room sprays. They did have a few of these different sets with different types of fragrances in them, but then I couldn't find the full size of any of the room sprays. So perhaps that was looking in the wrong section but i do think this is a really good idea and this should still last us a decent amount of time before we would need to purchase a full size anyway the reason why i ordered this set was because we've just run out of the room spray that we had been using and i've just found the actual empty bottle here on the side this was from daniel stone perfume and was santal noir room spray 
I did read the notes on the back of this to try and find an alternative one but it does actually say that it's a complex fragrance and it does have a million different things in it this is something that I actually got in a FabFitFun box so it's not something that I purchased here in the UK I wish I could get another one of these because it did last us a long amount of time and it does have a really nice scent to it so I'm kind of trying to duplicate it with one of these the scents that are in here are pomegranate and black lily sweet almond and vanilla pomelo and ginger rose and orange blossom midnight patchouli and amber dark orchard and patchouli and then lemon and bergamot what I actually did to see which ones I liked is I kind of went around the house and sprayed a different one in every different room to see. If I remember rightly, I like the first two and the last two. I think this ginger one was okay, but I don't think I liked these two, which are the rose and orange blossom, which I'm not a huge fan of rose scented, so I'm not surprised by that one. And then the midnight patchouli and amber. I don't think I like those. But other than that, out of the set, I do like the majority of them. So excited to work my way through these, work out which one I like as a favourite, and then hopefully I can get a full size of it. That is everything that I purchased in Next. And other than the clothing, that is pretty much everything I purchased last month. The only other thing that I purchased was the box from Agora, which I did do an unboxing of on my channel recently. Which, okay, that did contain some makeup, but because that was part of the box, I didn't kind of count that as a makeup purchase. So yeah, even including that box from Agora, that wasn't too many things I purchased this month, so I'm quite proud of myself and I feel like I can kind of tick this off as a successful low buy month. So now I'll go over and show you the clothing that I purchased. It is all from Matalan. Just in case you're not interested in seeing any of the clothes that I purchased, thank you for watching. If you're wanting to see what I picked up in Matalan, I will show you now. This is actually a culmination of two purchases from Matalan because I did actually venture to the shop itself and pick up quite a few items there. And then literally two days after my trip to the shops, I did receive an email from them offering me 20% off, which is so annoying. But Matalan do have a habit of doing that. And I think that's why they have a membership card, because they know when you purchase, so then they can tempt you back. And annoyingly, this time they did tempt me back and I then made a purchase online with 20% off. I can't remember which items are from which order, so I'll just kind of show you everything together. First off, I did pick up a couple of jumpers. Now that I am around the house more, being on maternity leave and things, I've realised that when it comes to jumpers, especially ones to wear around the house, it is more of a jersey one that I prefer to this kind of sort of cable knit one. These ones are fine if I'm going out somewhere, but just for sitting around the house or even just a casual date at the shop sort of thing, I do much prefer the jersey style jumpers. So I picked up this grey one, which says love and happiness. I did just get this one in a size medium but it is quite a baggy fit on me and it is a really nice length as well so i have taken the tag off and i can't remember how much it was i think it might have only been about 10 pounds and i do believe this is one of the ones that i got the 20 percent off on and i picked up another jersey jumper and this one is a peach colored one which for all the jumpers and things that i have in my collection i don't think i actually have a peach one i have a hell of a lot of gray i have quite a few green jumpers and i also have quite a few of this kind of pink tone but i don't think i have one this color so i don't feel like i'm saturating in my collection too much this one was actually only eight pounds fifty and i did get this one online so i did get the 20 percent off that as well and i thought it was a really good deal and again it is a size medium but it is quite a wide fit so it is really comfortable then I picked up a couple of pairs of jeggings. I can't remember the last time I actually wore just normal jeans, even kind of pre-pregnancy and things. I've always just worn Matalan's jeggings. I do have a couple of pairs of jeans in my collection. They are more for going out than kind of everyday wear. So when it comes to everyday wear, it is jeggings that I reach for. I've tried so many different ones and it's Matalan ones that I go back to, specifically their rosy jeggings. So I did pick up a couple of new colours. I get these in a size 12 with a 31 leg because I am nearly 5 foot 8 and these do fit me perfectly. They are the right length for me and they just fit really nicely and kind of hold everything in place. They're the nice colour for the sort of spring and summer whereas this one I suppose is a bit more wintry. But these are £12.50 each. I did purchase these in the store so didn't get my 20% off on these but because they are a staple I don't mind too much. Then I picked up a couple of workout clothes because in our store, when you first walk in, they do have a workout section there. It was always the case that their workout clothes were kind of just infiltrated with the rest of the clothes. But now because they have quite a good range of workout gear, it was all there. 
first thing I picked up was this t-shirt which has a nice little detail on the back there is really nice and thin I do feel like it's nice and airy and it is from their soul looks brand so I think it is like a breathable material again I got this in a size medium and this was eight pounds and I did also get some sports leggings which I've just noticed have a pocket in the back which is really helpful I didn't see that when I purchased them I automatically looked for pockets on the side here but it does have one of the kind of secret pouches at the back not enough to fit my phone in but I could probably fit a key in there if I was going for a run with them these in a size 12 they are black at the top and then they do have this detailing at the bottom because they didn't have pockets in I wasn't too sure if I was going to use these for running or just kind of for the school run I've always just worn my jeggings for the school run I feel like there's so many mums that just wear this kind of thing that they look so much more comfy than me in my jeggings so I got these for the school run but perhaps the running as well these have got no price tag in them but I think they might have been £14. I did also pick up a couple of pairs of sandals and shoes but I haven't brought them in here so I will put pictures of them up on the screen. I got a black pair of kind of platform sandals. So many of my sandals are from Matalan because they are really comfortable and also really affordable. I think they were about £12.50. I could be mistaken there and then I also picked up a pair of tan sandals because the tan sandals that I had on last year I've seen better days so I thought I could do with replacing them so I bought a new pair there. I did as I say pick up a couple of things for my daughter but they are in her room and I'm not going to get those out but I do have a couple of items to show you that I purchased for my son because the room that I film in is going to be his nursery so all of his clothes are in here so it was easy for me to grab these. The first one is this super cute little Winnie the Pooh dungaree set with Tigger on. This was £12 and I've got this in 0-3, which I was thinking he wasn't going to be wearing yet, but he is already in 0-3, so I do need to remember to put this on him so we can get his wear out of it. But I just thought it was really cute with, with the Tiggers all over the body grow and then the beige dungarees and then it is just plain on the back. And then I seen these little sets in store, but they didn't have the size that I wanted. So these are something that I did actually purchase online, which meant I did get the 20% off. It is a pack of two shorts and a pack of three t-shirts, but as you can see, they are matching and they are with dinosaurs. So these are really cute. And I got these in three to six because I'm thinking in the summer, he should be in three to six months, hopefully by then. And then this is the three pack of t-shirts. These to me look really big compared to the size that he is now but like I say hopefully he'll be in three to six by the summer and they will fit him but I just thought they were really cute and made the nice kind of muted pastel type colours. And I think the two sets were £12 and then I did have the 20% off. So that is everything that I picked up in Matalan and that is the end of the haul for this month. Like I said, I am really pleased with myself and do feel like I can tick this month off as sticking to my low buy. That is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks. Mm -hmm.